hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be showing you how to make fresh okra soup uh okra they are not, they are well sliced but before we proceed we'll be having our meat and cow skin on in the pot next we added our stockfish head and one lap of chicken i call chicken miss road yes and some sliced cow skin and dried fish next i'll be adding a little salt some bouillon some pounded pepper I'll be stirring and allow it to cook in its own juice on a medium heat. 20 minutes later, I'll be adding water enough to cook the soup. I'll be covering the pot and allow everything to cook until it's done. I'll be enjoying the soup with my pounded yam. But next, I didn't know what happened. If you notice, I've added red oil and my obono seed, but I didn't quite capture that. So next, I added our crayfish. I'll salt some bouillon and I give it a quick stir and allowed everything to combine well. Next, I added our sliced okra. If you notice, you will see that everything, all my okra, I like slicing them in a round shape. That is my signature okra. I stirred and covered the pot and five minutes later, I added my pumpkin sliced leaf. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want for any reason to overcook your vegetables. Because vegetables are meant to be fresh, right? You shouldn't overcook them to avoid killing them. After giving it a quick stir, I added my sliced onion and gave it the final stir. If you are new to my page, please do not go without subscribing. I beg you, subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get notified when I post new videos. Thank you so much if you've done so. And to all my subscribers, my returning subscribers, I love you so much and I aren't taking you for granted. I'll be scooping some portion to enjoy with the pounded yam. This is it. If you, can, if you notice, you will see our soup still retained its freshness. It still retained its green color. This is it, guys. Thank you for watching and see you again next time. Bye.